What's good, y'all? Welcome back to Rig Nose Hoops. I'm your host, Tyreek. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Uh, I got a lot of hoops to talk about, but this is a channel where we just talk about NBA basketball. So if you love hoops, this is the place for you. And tonight, we got a 60-point game in the NBA. LeBron James makes his return and a new best team in basketball. Let's get to the 60-point game, though. Boston Celtics against San Antonio Spurs. It's a game where San Antonio led by as much as 32 points in the first half. DeJounte Murray couldn't miss a shot. Lonnie Walker was playing well. DeMar DeRozan has been playing well like he has been all season. But then Jason Tatum kind of happened, and Jason Tatum decided to drop a career-high 60 points. And if you've been watching the channel for a little while, you know I'm one of Jason Tatum's biggest critics. Uh, I hate when he, he settles. I don't like when he settles, you know, make, trying to take a lot of tough shots. Because, you know, they're good. It looks good when they go in, but when, when they're not going in, it's just when he gets those bad shooting nights. But when he's in attack mode like this is when he really plays his best basketball, when he's getting to the basket, getting to the free throw line, and just taking shots within, you know, the flow of his game, within the flow of the offense. And that's the kind of game he had tonight. And, you know, a little more extreme, though, he ended up with 60 points, which ties Larry Bird for the most of Boston Celtics history. Uh, shout out to Larry Legend. But this is a game that the Celtics really needed to win, too. They've been playing kind of poor lately. I think they're, they were sitting at the seventh seed coming into this game. So this is a game that, you know, they really needed, you know, with, you know, Miami being right there, uh, only being a couple games behind the Hawks. The Knicks have been playing great basketball. So you don't want to distance yourself too far with just a few weeks left in the regular season. This is a game that they ended up being able to win in overtime, man. So big time win for the Celtics. As for the Spurs, another team in the West that's kind of in the play-in. Um, it's a game that is a tough one to lose for sure. Very tough one to lose. But... You know, they did. They got some good performances, like I said, from DeJounte. I've been raving about him, especially lately. He's been playing really well. And he's just somebody that I know has another level to his game, and I can't wait to see it for sure. But tough win, tough loss. I'm sorry for the Spurs. Good win for the Celtics. Let's move on to LeBron James making his long-awaited return, the longest stretch of his career that he hasn't played in an NBA game. Um, it's, I, feel, I feel like it's been like two months since LeBron's played or close to that. But now seeing LeBron back in the lineup, you expected the Lakers to really have some new life to their uh, to their team. Uh, they were playing pretty well uh, in the first half and going into the fourth quarter. But then the fourth quarter, the Lakers kind of got back to the things that they've been doing that's been leading to their struggles. Just, you know, inconsistencies on the offensive end really showed. Um, Anthony Davis has been back, but he still, of course, is not looking rhythm. I mean, he hasn't played in so long, so it's like it's going to definitely take time. And it might take a little time for LeBron to get back into rhythm, too. He didn't have... You know, an amazing night. He had 16 points. He did play 32 minutes. I didn't expect to see LeBron that much. But the Kings, you got to give a lot of credit to them. I mean, they didn't roll over. DeLon Wright made some big plays in the fourth quarter. Um, uh, Rashawn Holmes was making some big plays as well. You're missing De'Aaron Fox. You're missing Harrison Barnes. But Tyrese Halliburton in this time, especially since De'Aaron Fox has been out the last four or five games, he's been great. He's been playing great basketball. He made big plays on both ends tonight. And he's somebody, you know, out of this rookie class, he deserves a lot more love than what he probably gets. It's tough because Anthony Edwards has been, you know, showtime. LaMelo Ball has been showtime. But Tyrese is showtime as well. He just does it in a different way. You know, definitely, you know, should get a lot more love than what he than what he gets. He definitely deserves a lot more. But good win for the Kings. As for the Lakers, I'm trying not to overreact, but you just want to see this thing get healthy and just get, you know, their rhythm back. But even before LeBron was, you know, not playing, they still weren't an amazing offensive team. Their defense has just been so elite this season that it kind of overrides that factor. But, you know, we'll see, you know, how the last three weeks, you know, how LeBron decides to rev it up. I, I don't want to bet against LeBron still. Um, but there could be some worries if maybe their offense continues to look kind of poor. But who knows, man? Who knows? It's been a crazy season, so nothing would surprise me at this point. Just like how the top two teams of the NBA are the Utah Jazz and the Phoenix Suns. That's a crazy thing to say, but that's the fact of the NBA today. But now we have a new best team in basketball. The Phoenix Suns beat up on the Jazz tonight. No Mike Conley, no Donovan Mitchell, of course, but... Phoenix does not care about that, of course. And they end up getting the win. Now that the best team in basketball is sitting at 45 wins, 18 losses. Devin Booker had a great game. Mikael Bridges, I mean, I think Julius Randle has most improved locked up, but he's he's been one of the most most improved players in this league this season. He's been playing great basketball. DeAndre A has been playing great, especially lately. Uh, Chris Paul, of course. I like to see Phoenix, man. First playoff uh, burst since 2010. They just clinched it the other night. And it just it makes me think about 2010. Like that's the first year I really started 
watching basketball 2009 2010 season and that sun scene was like steve nash jason richardson grant hill omari stoudemire i think robin lopez was their center they had like barbosa coming off the bench like <laughs> that just hits so many memories like i remember watching that team so much fun team to watch but so is this phoenix sun team in modern day man great team to watch and I, you know as for the top of the west like I wouldn't want to be in that seventh seed because you might have to see a uh, Dallas in the first round or, you know, potentially, you know, Portland or maybe even the Lakers if they continue to slide. Like you might see one of those teams in the first round. I would not want to see that, man. I would not want to see that. So, you know, it's definitely important for whoever gets the one seed because I'd much rather see Memphis, San Antonio or Steph Curry and the Warriors, even though Steph's been great. But I'd much rather see one of those teams other than the previous three that I mentioned. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see who gets that top spot in the West. Let's move on to another team in the Western Conference. Playing a team out east tonight, uh, the Portland Trail Blazers against the Brooklyn Nets. I'm not going to say too much about the Blazers. They got the win in the night. Uh, Dame played really well. I'm not going to speak too much on them because I have a lot to say. We're already six minutes in. I don't want to rant about them for 10 minutes because I really could do that. Uh, I think I might drop a whole video on them. Even though they've been winning the last few games, they've won, I think, three in a row now. I still got a lot to say for sure but let's talk about the nets a little bit i'm just kind of worried that their stars have not played together at all seven games is not a lot at all um to build no chemistry so it's like kind of work i'm a little worried about that you know see what's i don't want to like overreact like same thing i'm not doing with the lakers because they have so much talent and they have three superstar players so I don't want to be, I don't want to like point to, oh, they haven't played together as a reason to doubt them, but I don't know. We'll see how like, how serious that could be. Cause it could be, it could be very serious, but we, we, I don't know yet. We'll just have to see. I, I would just like to see them play one in seven games together. There's like 10, maybe 10, at least depending on who your team is, you have at least 10 games left, you know, in the season, about three weeks of basketball. So we'll see, like, you know, if they do get to see the court at all the rest of the season. James Harden didn't play tonight. KD didn't play tonight. You know, it was just Kyrie out there. Blake Griffin did play, though. But I don't know. That's just something to keep an eye on for sure. So definitely something that, you know, to keep at the back of your minds about this Brooklyn Nets team. Let's get to the Washington Wizards. Another win tonight. They've just been playing good basketball. Russell Westbrook, another triple-double. That's something that has been in the news a little bit. He had a little press conference. We need to appreciate that a little more, man, because... He's about to do it for his fourth season in his career. And that's something that had only been done one time in NBA history, averaging a triple-double. Like, that's that's actually insane that he's done it four times. And not just him, but, like, all the great players that we've grown up watching, you know, if you're in my, like, age range, you know, the guys like Russ and, like, LeBron, uh, Steph Curry, KD, James Harden, you know, guys like that, we have to appreciate them why they're still being great, why they're still playing, because one day we're going to look up and, you know, those guys aren't going to be around. And we're going to be like, man, I wish watching so-and-so play or I miss watching so-and-so play. Like, just appreciate the guys while they're here now, man. That's very important because, you know, we're seeing some of the best players to ever pick up a basketball every night on TV right in front of our eyes. We got to appreciate that while it's still happening. As for the Wizards, sitting at 29 and 34 now, I believe. It's crazy because now they're five games under 500. They were probably like 15 games under 500, like three or four weeks ago. So, it's been an amazing turnaround for them, but you know, it's looking like they're going to be solidified in that play-in. And a team that's fighting behind them, but dealing with the loss of Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls, lost again tonight to the Milwaukee Bucks. No Giannis, so this is a game that you think maybe we'd be able to sneak and win because the Bucks haven't played that good without Giannis this season. But it didn't happen that way. Um, Chris Middleton had a, had a pretty good, good all-around game. Brooke Lopez had one of his better games of the season on both ends of the floor, so um as for the bulls i don't, I don't know man the bulls kind of tough situation for sure because they made all those trades at the deadline but now obviously zach levine has been out for a couple weeks they weren't playing that great when he was still in the lineup you know but i think the vucevic trade was a little more past this year because he does have a couple more years left on this deal and you got to convince zach levine that you know we're trying to put talent around you so you know he doesn't want to leave the free agency or request a trade or something like that so you know, we'll definitely see. There's still a lot of basketball left. Maybe Zach Levine will be back in the lineup pretty soon to see if maybe they can salvage the rest of the season. Uh, a couple other games. I'm going to talk about the last two of the night. Philly beat up on the Hawks. Trey Young made his return to the lineup. He had missed a few games. 
Hawks were playing a little up and down, but he made his return and didn't really matter too much because Philly's been pretty dominant lately. They've been pretty dominant lately, especially since Joel Embiid's been back. Uh, ben Simmons been playing, you know, great. Um, and now he's number one in defensive player of the year ladder. Um, I don't know if y'all be keeping up with that on NBA.com, but he's number one now. So y'all know, y'all know, I want to see Ben Simmons win that award. Like, if he don't win that award, man, I'm, I don't know, man. It's, it's got to be, it's got to be head against Ben Simmons if he doesn't win that award. But, you know, shout out to Philly. But it's not just been those two guys. It's been their supporting cast has been playing well over the last couple of weeks. Seth Curry, Shake Milton, Dwight Howard has been playing re really well. It's those guys like that that have been stepping up, which is a good sign because you're going to need those guys come playoff time. So that's a very good sign. And the last game, I had zero investment in. It was a 92-75 victory for the Memphis Grizzlies over the Magic. Um, that's like a score from... 2003 Detroit Pistons against the Indiana Pacers. Like, I, I don't have too much to say. I see Ja had a highlight reel dunk. Um, Valentunas had a big double double, 14 points, 15 rebounds. I, um, shout out to Cole Anthony. He's been scoring in double figures, like, I think, like the last 10 games. I don't know if he had double figures tonight, but I know he has, like, the previous 10 games. I've seen that earlier. So, shout out to my, yeah, he had 15 tonight. Shout out to my. Carolina Tar Heel, man. I'm always show love to my guys. And Wendell Carter's been playing good since he got traded to Orlando. So, Magic fans, I gave you about 15, 20 seconds. Showing you guys some love, even though y'all only scored 75 points tonight. But anyways, <laughs> that's all the games for tonight, y'all. So, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, man. Help help the channel grow. We're trying to get some place for sure. But I appreciate y'all. I'm out. Peace.